ओके एनी वेज आई थिंक वी शुड स्टार्ट ऑलरेडी टाइम अलेवन टेन Okay, so yesterday, like uh, by the end of the session, I told you that we are going to use, uh, uh, we are going to learn Postgres SQL. Okay, uh, am I audible to everyone? Okay, nice. So again, I am asking again everyone that uh, uh, please feel free to. Uh, like ask any question any time <coughs> make the session interactive it should not be just i am speaking and everyone is just getting it out it's not a lecture college lecture so yeah don't feel it like that so it's uh, our main motto is to understand the things so whatever you feel you are not able to understand let me know i will try to explain it in some, some different way okay so here as i told you after that that we will start with the postgres sql as our uh, like the sql server which we are going to use so just to provide you a little like uh, recap of yesterday so what we learnt yesterday that we have uh, basically two types of database one is the relational databases one is non relational databases where relational databases comes up with a very various variety say like as we are going to read that postgres sql we have mysql we have ms sql we have oracle we have db2 a lot of them and uh, about other part is like non relational database where we have like uh, no sql databases like mongo db etc so yeah these are just a few very famous databases we will start our like program our sessions our training session with postgres sql it's a just a like a famous choice there right now these days which where most of the projects are being built on using postgres sql as a database but it's not mandatory obviously if even if you l try to learn post uh, mysql ms sql or oracle or anything it doesn't make literally it doesn't make a big change it's very minor changes in any of the databases so these all the relational database run based on a language called sql that is sql queries a structured query language i hope uh, many of you have already heard this name so what we do we just need to write some sql queries we say and uh, do all that does all the work so it is not something like which is uh, like uh, different for every different databases most of the part is always same but anyways we will see it okay now okay, before starting like anything on the postgres sql first thing we need to do is like you need to install the postgres sql and the client to use the postgres sql in your machine in your system in your laptop so whatever os version you are using you can just try to simply search like how to install postgres on windows or mac on linux whatever you are using and you will easily get a link like from where you can download the postgres sql and how you can install the for example i just opened the link so here if you see it will just uh, provide you the details that download installation from this link you can download any version it's not like uh, you always need some specific version ideal scenario is obviously you will download some latest version available for your windows so if you are using a windows machine 64 bit architecture just download this the very okay let me open the page itself yeah so if you are using a windows machine x64 then you can download this one 14.5 but if you are using windows machine with 32 bit architecture you have to use 10.22 similarly if you are using mac os you can simply use this one for linux uh, there are some links for these versions and uh, then we have uh, of the links of label here okay A any any question as well now like uh, this is just like where you can download the installer files and all 
and how you can uh, simply download and after all all the instructions are given in this page okay just uh, uh, wait for a second let i am back i will back So when you install this file, so if you see the like just an instruction, you can see that first of all you how you can install this after downloading the installer. What you need to do, obviously you just need to click next and next, nothing else. Need to be you need to set a password. Whatever the password you will type at the type of time of installing the application, make sure that you will not forget it. I don't know that there will be a procedure to recover it or not. So make sure whatever the password you are typing. write it somewhere so that you will not forget it after that uh, there will be like a kind of a port number which it will uh, like uh, already prefilled should be 5432 please don't change it even if you change it just make sure that you remember it ideal scenario don't change it again look so, so most of the things you just don't need to change it jaisa hai aapko waise hi aage badh jana hai so whatever is there doesn't need to be changed once this postgres sql is installed in your system next thing is ki how we need to connect to that database so abhi tak humne kya kiya we have installed postgres sql and now we need to connect to the postgres sql so now we have two ways to connect to postgres sql database and what are the two ways one is like you can use your command prompt screen to connect to your database and another way is the simple there is a client called pg admin so you can see this pg admin open the pg admin for tool from postgres sql folder menu so there is a tool called pg admin uh, when you install the postgres sql uh, most probably it will also be installed so you, uh, they are explaining like how you can use the tool for connecting to the postgres sql database okay so this is like uh, the link i am going to provide you on this chat itself i may later send it on the whatsapp too but yeah a bit better you can copy from here okay so first thing everyone have to do today or uh, even if you want to start like to, uh, right now maybe better after the session what all you need to do first of all you need to open this link download postgres sql install in your machines okay yeah so uh, this is obviously most important point because if you are going to just learn like uh, hear the lessons uh, training session then obviously it is not be any helpful so best thing is like whatever i am going to ask you to do try to do that so first thing you will you guys will install the postgres sql today and uh, then make sure that uh, whatever queries whatever the things i am going to teach you please uh, try that yourself in your system and if you will not be able to do so anything is not working or anything we will take that as a very first thing tomorrow sorry in the next session so first thing will the most important thing will be like we need to make sure that whatever we are doing here it should all also be working in your system then only we will be able to do anything okay so this is the very first thing uh, like how to install postgres sql i don't want to like go in much detail it's uh, simply all the instruction given on the uh, this page you can simply on and not only this page you can simply google it you will get a lot of instruction in lot of different pages okay, uh, use any one okay
so you see uh, like uh, when you finish doctoric postgres sql and pg admin this is a tool pg admin and it will look like this a very simple software so here you can see a server you just need to click on it there be a you must see one default server in your i have connected to some more server so just forget about it so just click on the first one there will be database in your the database will be empty because you have not created any database yet so there are a few options first option is you just click right click and you need to click on create database okay and uh, give any name for example i am going to provide a name like uh, telephone db okay once you create database it will be uh, visible like this here okay so uh, let me uh, like provide you like what i am planning to do so yesterday we have taken an example of uh, like a telephone directory right like how we can save the number phone numbers of different uh, friends so what we saw yesterday that we can use a simple notepad file or text file for doing this we can simply save the numbers in a notepad file again for each name like this number is this this number is this but uh, we have seen that there can be some challenges while trying to find out the number from a text file because if we have like thousands of entry and if we are trying to find out the number of such in in the full full list of thousands of people it, it is much difficult because you have to some, somehow find out where the such in is if we want to delete it there will be some difficulties so uh, that's why i mentioned that uh, there is like the invention of database comes to increase our productivity to make things faster and simpler so now we are learning like uh, databases i just like installed the postgres sql i created a new database gave it a name of telephone db i can understand that you people may may don't know right now like why i created this what i have it like uh, you will get it as soon as uh, we will proceed with other things so inside this telephone db you can see there are few options just don't worry about any of the options for now for now you just need to see only this this is schemas inside the schemas you can see tables so after creating your db in the db you can see schemas under schemas you can see tables that's all what matters for you guys right now so you just need to see the tables right now nothing else rest of the thing we may learn but that are not important uh, for for now okay so now let me tell you what the table is so if you guys remember yesterday we took some example like uh, this this is a phone number number okay so we have taken an example like this right everyone remember that okay so now suppose i instead of saving it in notepad file what else i can do we can do something like this jo everyone have must have seen the excel files right ठीक है माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल की जो फाइल्स होती हैं वो कुछ ऐसी होती हैं टैबलेट फॉर्म में लाइक यहाँ पे रो और कॉलम्स होते हैं करेक्ट तो इन द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल फाइल वेयर वी हैव लाइक रोज एंड कॉलम इट्स समथिंग लुक लाइक दिस द सेम काइंड ऑफ थिंग इज इन डेटा बेस लाइक वी कैन क्रिएट टेबल्स दिस इज वी कॉल टेबल वेयर वी हैव सम रोज एंड सम कॉलम्स in any table i'm just not talking about database where wherever you create any table usually usually in the very first row you type headings maybe something like this right and uh, here you can just put the data from the after the header 
this is a usual way of representing any table anywhere it's not about uh, any programming language even if you are creating a table like uh, uh, storing the data creating the table even in your copy like in your reject uh, then even you will do the same right in your notebook so again exactly this kind of tables we are going to create here and uh, you will see how it can make the things uh, simpler for everyone so what you just now going to do you just need to click on table right click on the table click create table this is the one way suppose i have given the name like contact i click on i just need to add columns here so in the contact table i need two columns and columns are like heading like whatever them so i just like given like you can say name and then it will ask for the data type so every column has a fixed data type when i am saying data type what does it mean data type is like which type of data you are planning to store in that column for example suppose you are planning to store name of a person in that column so that data type could be what it is a string right it is a string but if you planning to store suppose uh, mm, salary of a person in inr or like uh, whatever so it yeah it will be like uh, in the uh, like uh, decimal digits right so yeah the type of data which you are going to store in the column should be mentioned at the time of creating the table and it is obviously very much important so uh, like for the name i want to provide the data type and the data type where we have like uh, for this thing uh, for any string instead of uh, just uh, have uh, saying it is like uh, So yeah, this is okay. so for a string we have something like var char in most of the database. Here we call it as character varying. Okay, so any of these like uh, where you can see character, character varying, all these kind of database where you can actually store a string kind of thing. So we usually use character varying as a column name. a column data type where wherever you are planning to store any strings like name address branch name anything like that any question as of now yeah abhi tak kisi ko sabko samajh mein aa raha hai kisi ka koi question hai please batao because everyone <coughs> my voice is breaking at ओके टू एवरी वन अदर्स उत्कर्ष सुमित वसंती ओके लेट मी सी जब तक Okay, now is it better? Okay, nice. I just changed my network. Okay, so what I was telling that while creating a table, you just need to give the column names, and with the column name, you need to provide the which type of data it's going to save. And uh, as of now, I just told uh, two types of data. Like uh, one could be like a string. Where you can save name, address, these kinds of thing with the a lot of alphabets there, and another kind of data could be like numbers, where you can like suppose you need to store salary of some person, then it could be a number. So we can simply in that case there will be some different data type, integer or decimal. So based on like you need a decimal point or not. 
so right now uh, for the name i just mentioned its character vary is a data type for storing any string type of data so in the programming language we usually use the word string but in database we use normally use the word and the word is var char it's a varying character right so that's what i mentioned here character vary then the next uh, thing what it is asking is uh, do you need to fix any length like uh, this is the max length of the name if you want to fix you can type something like 50 that 50 character can be the maximum length of a name of any data what we are going to store in this column and um, then you guys can ignore scale and then we can come to not null primary key but we can, we will come here later uh, right now we just see these three things after that suppose i need one more column so i have added one more column i have mentioned like phone underscore number so everyone uh, please notice one thing uh, some people who already have like from the csc background must already know that in most of the programming language in and in most of the things uh, related to computers where whenever we are creating a variable name wherever we are creating a table column even a folder name or file name please try to avoid spaces between two words okay so if i want to provide phone number i will never write phone space number so it will not even allow me if i will write phone space number it should be a one word so in that case you can use phone underscore number you can use like camel case where we have four letters small and second word for letters capital right like uh, even when whenever you create a folder in your desktop for example you are creating a new folder you are creating a new directory please avoid to use space in the name it's not like that you can can't do that but avoiding that will always help you will get to know um, some later on like why i am asking to avoid spaces okay again now tell me like uh, what type phone number is it is it should it be a string or should it be a number anyone other other okay yeah so let me tell you uh, from my experience what i can tell you so your answer is actually kind of right that everyone thinks that phone number will always contain number it should be number but the thing is usually we always take phone number as the string now let me tell you why there are a few reasons for example when someone enters phone number they can also enter something like 9170 something 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 right and a number cannot accept this plus or minus symbol hyphen symbol if you are from some uh, like uh, maybe us it could be something like uh, plus 1 hyphen then we have right in like in this way so in different countries we have a uh, way we have to enter phone number in different ways so if you take it as number first thing you can never store any special character like plus minus or brackets correct so this is one of the reason that why phone number should always be a var char and even if it is not like uh, we are not going to enter it like this even if we put restriction that everyone who want to enter phone number he need to enter only 10 digits nothing else even then it's better to take number as the string and uh, like even if you are uh, like uh, creating a program i am not talking about database if we, even if we are writing a c program java program or anything if you are taking number as an integer or double or whatever in your language 
It's a ideally if in wrong case it's a it should always be a string. Let me tell you the reason why. See, number is not some a phone number. Phone number is not something where you are going to do any calculations, right? Suppose uh, you you want to store salary of a person. You should always take it something like a float or in some language we call it as a double, right? You you guys have heard these words float and double? Ravi? Oh. Okay. So suppose you have a salary. Like um, suppose someone has a salary of like twenty five thousand. Now, and other other person has a salary of like uh, thirty five thousand. Someone has a salary of uh, like uh, ten thousand. There may be chances that whatever the application you are creating, there may be chances that you need something where you need to find out who is getting the maximum salary or who is getting the minimum salary. You need to calculate the average salary of this group right so there may be chances that you will do some calculations with the salary if i want to find out who is getting the maximum salary and uh, if i am storing the salaries as a string i cannot do this greater than and less than with if strings i can do greater and less than only with numbers right i cannot write like vishal is greater than such and or not it's, it doesn't make any sense but if I am writing like 25,000 is greater than 35,000 or not it makes sense because it is a number so where you are planning to do any calculation with that thing that is a number there you need to take it as a decimal or integer or float or double or whatever but that even if uh, all even if all the letters in a phone number is digits but this you are never gonna do any calculation you will never gonna add uh, 20 to this phone number right you are never gonna add 20 to this phone number suppose this is a salary this is a salary and i want to provide 10 percent bonus to all my employees so you will do something like 10 divided by 100 into 10 to 5000 right something like that but any this type of calculation will you ever do with phone number no if you save a phone number, you phone number you are never going to do any calculations. Correct? Phone number will always remain phone number. You don't have to plus minus, you don't have to multiply, divide. So, whatever the thing you are going to store, that is the big numbers. It looks like a number, but it actually works as a string. It should be stored as a string itself. Another reason, or what reason is this? This other reason is that like in mo mo most of the programming languages, every type of variable has its limit. For example, जैसे, I don't know कि आप लोगों ने कौन-कौन सी language सबको अलग लगाती है. जैसे किसी ने अगर C पढ़ी हो तो integer अगर उसमें लेते हैं. So if we, in the C language, if we take integer like integer a equal to something, this a integer usually has a limit. Like this is a, like the minimum like uh, for example in different compiler it changes but uh, for some of the compiler it bought like 3, 2, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8 so this is the limit of integer in C in 32 bit compilers in most of the recent compilers much bit uh, larger but again always it has a range so integer has a range like it can save like 10 characters of if, uh, 10, correct, 10 digits of uh, number double has a bigger bigger range and uh, similarly float has uh, some range every type of data type has some range but phone number usually contains of 10 10 digits at least 10 digits could even be more than 10 digits so it's always better to save this as an uh, string or a where care because there first of all in most of the programming language if string doesn't have any length you can store as many characters as you want Especially if it has, it is a very, 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 very big. So you can uh, even store the full paragraph inside a string. Okay. So as of now, you got like why I am saying that uh, phone number should not be a number. It should not be a yeah decimal number, integer, float. 
so consider this as a thumb rule like whenever you are trying deciding that it should be a number or it should be a string just think that if you are going to do any calculation with that number if you are not going to do any calculation it's just a fixed thing always then you can consider it as a string तो यहाँ पे हमने फ़ोन नंबर भी ले लिया इसको वेरिंग करेक्टर वेरिंग कर दिया ट्वेल्थ लेंथ कर दिया लेंथ देना जरूरी भी नहीं है सो नाउ आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन सेव इट क्रिएटेड अ टेबल लाइक दिस इफ यू राइट क्लिक ऑन द टेबल क्लिक स्क्रिप्ट सेलेक्ट इट विल जनरेट अ क्वेरी आई विल टेल यू हाउ इट यू जब सेलेक्ट इट और इवन नॉट सेलेक्ट क्लिक ऑन द प्ले बटन दिस रन बटन एक्सक्यूट बटन एंड यू विल सी समथिंग लाइक दैट a name and a phone number and empty there is no data yet just repeating right click on contact go to script then select the script it will open something like this you just need to click on the execute button and you will see the result below got it and uh, yeah suppose you have written a multiple lines in the document and if you want to run only one line you just can select that line and then click on the button okay so now i am going to tell you why what is this uh, query why, what is this line how we can write this line what does it mean so here we are we will now learn a few sql queries important sql queries so before that like i just wanted to tell you uh, tell you everyone like what are the tables so i just provided one example that how a uh, small f table can be like just two columns with name and phone number that's all the easiest example i can think of this is the that thing so now we will proceed with the queries so again i am repeating like whatever we are going to do right now in this session please make sure get at least one hour from your precious sunday time and uh, try to install it in your own machines so that you can try it yourself theek hai to fir se again yahi repeat kar raha hu ki bhai logo sab log ek bar please please install karna khud chala ke dekhna kyunki khud se jab tak nahi karenge uh, anyways most of the thing aap log ne apne colleges mein in your btech if you are doing btech or bc or whatever already ye sab cheeze padhi hongi बट यहाँ पे मोटो ये नहीं होना चाहिए पढ़ रहे हैं यहाँ पे खुद करके देख रहे हैं एंड इफ़ यू आर फेसिंग एनी इश्यूज़ कम टू मी टमोरो बिफोर लाइक द नेक्स्ट सेशन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एनीथिंग वी विल ट्राई दिस ओके 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 तो now we are gonna learn a few things like what is sql so sql is a structured query language i have already told you then what are the different types of sql statements we can write for example you have already seen this is select a statement we have written there are few more we are gonna learn now so yeah before going forward i just want to take a break for 2 3 minutes uh, i'm just taking like from like 40 minutes i just want to take a 2 3 minute break is it fine for everyone yo yeah, okay yeah, thank you
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, what do you want to say? Okay, thank you. But, uh, I just zoomed my screen a little bit. I'm not sure that that how much visible it was to all of you. Okay. So if we go towards the theory first, uh, it will be like uh, there are a few types of statement and SQL query language. If you guys heard, it should it's like something like DDL, DML, or DCL. And what is DDL, DML, and DCL? DDL is data definition language. DML is data manipulation language, and DCL is data control language. Okay. I am literally not interested in these words. I am just interested in what we actually need practically while working in an organization. My last uh, time say calm karo, mujhe especially matter karta hai what we are actually working on. Utkarsh, you want to say something? Okay, I can see you have raised hand in the middle. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. Thank you. Okay, okay. So what I was saying that these are the just words uh, I can explain you this word like what of DDL, what of DML, what of DCL. But uh, uh, motto of this class is not to understand just the word. We we will think uh, like learn things what we are gonna actually use in our whole life. Like if you we are going to pursue the career in IT field, these will be our like kind of whole life for next uh, ten years. You can say at least. Until and unless you will not be become like a manager of upper level where you don't need to do any coding, then till that point of time you will need this all these things, especially in SQL. So, <coughs> so yeah, let's start. Karte so we have three types of instructions, three type of statements in SQL. One is data definition language. One is data manipulation language and one is data control language. So now we will see that what we have in DDL, what we have in DML, and what we have in DCL. For now, just forget about DCL. This is we can learn later on. This is not even much required in my past careers. I I have like never used DCL more than once or twice in the whole career. So this is these are the two important thing. Very very important thing. Irrespective of what language you guys will get a job on, if you will get a job of Java, you will get a job of .NET or C Sharp or JavaScript, anything. But you will always need these SQL statements, DDL and DML, in any of the language you are working on. Irrespective of that, so uh, like uh, try to understand these things very very cautiously. So in DDL. Like uh, we have a few statements. The most important statement we are gonna learn is create table. Okay. So the very first thing what we can do in SQL is to create a table. What we have just created, like we we created a table called contact. Correct, everyone. Right. Okay. So but. As of now, we created a table by right-clicking the table and doing these things. So, understand this thing now. What this PG admin is? PG admin is just a client. When I'm talking, saying the word client, this means that the actual database, the actual Postgres SQL database, is something different. That is a server where all the data is getting saved everything that is something different which we have already installed but this pg admin is a client client means this is just a ui user interface which is our uh, daily life which is our daily life connecting to the database doing some queries in the database so the thing is like suppose i have created a new database telephone db i have created a new table called contact I can do it just by right click something and selecting some options from the PG admin. So this is what PG admin provides. That it is provide just the UI to do a lot of things. But it's not like that. Without PG admin, there's no Postgres SQL database. 
SQL database is still exist. PG admin is just providing a user interface to do some basic operation easily, right? But when we are going to run SQL, we don't need to be dependent on any of the user interface. It could be this user interface. It could be simple command prompt screen. It should not matter. What we need to do, we need to like learn the queries, SQL queries. So for example, I created a database called telephone DB. If I want to create a database telephone, like any, suppose I want to create another database. I am going to create it like uh, say, uh, database name I will say like uh, our SQL training database okay so instead of doing this like create database here what I can do something like that create database equal training db or database whatever I want to mention okay so instead of using this options from the menu you can simply type so this is the very first query i am telling you that that is create a database sql training db and i just gonna click here and it created a database if you click on it refresh it you will see one more database has been added sql training db right and inside it if you see tables it's empty right now there's no table inside this database so we just created a new database in our uh, postgres sql using a query so this is the very first query that how you can create a database that is create database query okay Achha, now here sabke man mein question aa sakta hai you can you are seeing my screen you can see a lot of database has been created what does it mean because uh, we have already see said it many times that postgres sql is a database so postgres sql is a database server where you can actually create multiple database but why you need multiple database can't you create uh, many tables on single database yeah we can create many tables in the single database but see the thing is these all database usually belongs to different project so inside a single project most of the cases you will use a single database in different project you could use different database so suppose i have on working on multiple project i have created multiple database for different different projects right when you start working on some complex project there are chances that uh, a project contains more than one database but you will get to know it's simply like uh, all the data which are going to be used in one place which are kind of somehow related which are related to something for example if i am gonna uh, say this is a sql training db i can store like uh, all the all the batches information which i am taking and uh, all the students information like whoever is learning this and uh, the timings the batch timings everyone everything related to our sql training session i can store in data database so i can create multiple tables for these things so we will learn uh, these things but yeah this is the very first thing that how we can create database we can use the ui we can also use a query and uh, make sure that you guys need to do these things via query not from the ui and let me tell you why the thing is uh, in like it depends on whatever organization whatever company you are going to join your database choice can be different. For example, maybe in other company you will use MySQL instead of Postgres. In MySQL, there will be a different client. We have a usually MySQL workbench or some other client. There are many clients. We have a client called DB Work. So there are a lot of clients available. Each, each and every client has its own different user interface, right? कोई ऐसा लग रहा है कोई किसी और तरीके से लगेगा कि किसी में क्रिएट का ऑप्शन यहाँ पे आ रहा है इन सम अदर क्लाइंट दिस क्रिएट ऑप्शन कैन बी एट सम अदर प्लेस यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट बट द क्वेरी व्हाट यू आर गोइंग टू रन दिस विल रिमेन सेम इन मोस्ट ऑफ द डेटा बेसिस इवन इफ इट विल बी चेंज इट विल बी जब चेंज लाइक वेरी वेरी लिटिल बट मोस्ट ऑफ द डेटा बेस द क्वेरी विल रिमेन सेम सो इफ यू नो क्वेरी यू डोंट डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट विच डेटा यू आर वर्किंग ऑन और like which
client you are working on okay so right now uh, we learned first query that is create database so we have a database bana liya hum yahan pe dekh sakte hain now the second thing is uh, as we just learned a few minutes back is to create a table right so yahan pe humne ek table banaya tha contact if i need to write a similar type of query which can create a contact like a table so suppose uh, it's the same table suppose i am going to create here like where i can store the contact number of uh, all the students so maybe i can create table so again when i i was creating database i just wrote create database now i am writing create table so these both do, both of these two statements are part of ddl create table and create database D ddl is data definition language where you are uh, like defining the data like uh, dat how the data will look like data kaisa hona hai उस अभी अभी जैसे टेबल बनाते समय वी हैव मैंशन डेट कि इसमें दो कॉलम होंगे एंड वन कॉलम इज़ वैर केयर वन कॉलम इज अनदर कॉलम इज वॉज ऑल्सो वैर केयर बट सो वट एवर द टाइप एंड एवरी थिंग वी आर डिफाइनिंग सो वी आर डिफाइनिंग द टाइप ऑफ डेटा डेट वाई वी आर कॉलिंग डी डी आर डेटा डेफिनेशन लैंग्वेज एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट टेबल नाउ क्रिएट टेबल सपोज आई एम राइटिंग अगेन कॉन्टेक्ट बट If I will just write this, it will not create table because in table we also need to provide column names, right? So what I will do, I will do uh, place a bracket like this, and here, so this is the table name. You can write anything. Just make sure without a space, okay? Then here you need to write the column names. So the first column name is, suppose I write student name, okay? and second column name is phone number right and if you guys remember that when we created a table we also mentioned the type like which type of data it is going to store so what it was like it was saying character varying i can simply use a word called varchar let's try that that postgres sql support it or not so i can write something like varchar bracket 50 so varchar is like variant character most of the database supports this word varchar even if it mysql or sql server most of the database support this word varchar varchar means it is a student name will be a string and whose maximum length can be 50 character similarly varchar and suppose maximum length will be 12 character so see the syntax of a create table statement is create table table name then the bracket the column name column type length comma column name column type length and as many as the columns you can create that is not a restriction so i just click it so what it is saying relation contact already active okay yeah, sorry for you guys interrupting just for a minute someone is on my gate ही में कर लो जहां छोड़ दीजिएगा इतना माफ नहीं ओके आई एम बैक सो हियर अभी तक किसी को कोई क्वेश्चन लाइक हाउ वी आर गोन क्रिएट टेबल सो ओके सॉरी आई वॉज इन बिटवीन आई फॉर गुड so yeah uh, when we tried to run this it hit relation contact already exists now tell me why why it said relation contact already exists because we already created contact table the same name table right but the thing is this was in telephone db and now i want to create my table contact in some other db in which db which i just created that is sql training db right so now what i am doing wrong what i need to do yeah correct i need to somehow mention that which database i am going to use so if you see this sheet which i opened where i am typing the document i opened a document by right clicking something and uh, something like that by right clicking contact table and select query so when i opened a document it mentioned as telephone db so this document is by default selected telephone db so if i try to like uh, write a query here it will simply take that database as a default database so we need to do something that it understand 
that we we are trying to use SQL training DB to create the duck table. Okay. So there are two options. One option is I can click here. I can uh, do something like query tool or anything else. Like somehow I open like this and now it's the SQL training DB. And uh, now I can uh, write the copy the same query here and paste it here, right? Now it will work. Another thing I am even, I'm even gonna try. We, in some of the database, it is supported. Some of the database not supported. What is that? You can also type something like use database. I don't think in Postgres it will work, but yeah, let me try that. Yeah. So, but in most of the, some other uh, databases, for example, if you are working with MySQL, there's another way of selecting a database. You can just type use and space the database name. But in Postgres, uh, this use word, if use is not a keyword. You cannot select the database like using use database. So yeah, you can just click on it, open the database like this. And uh, here you go. If I will select this query, I will click on the execute button. You can see table is created. So if I will open this, I will open this. I click on the table, refresh it, and you will see a contact table has been created now. Okay. So अभी तक हमने यहाँ पे दो query सीखी. पहली एक database कैसा बना सकते हैं. दूसरा एक table कैसा बना सकते हैं. Table के अंदर अभी तक हमने केवल var query use किया. We have not used any other type of data as of now. लेटर ऑन एक एक करके देखेंगे बट दीज आर द वेरी टू बेसिक क्वेरी बहुत सिंपल सी थी जी एफ क्रिएट टेबल टेबल नेम कॉलम नेम्स एंड कॉलम टाइप्स एंड विद द लेंथ राइट सिंपल था तो राइट तो वेरी सिंपल था नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पे आते हैं थोड़ा और अच्छा लगाते हैं टेबल देखने में सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू सी If I want to next point like after creating a contact table, I want to insert some data. अब इसमें डालना चाह रहा हूँ भाई record इसमें क्या phone number different का क्या नाम है? So suppose I want to insert something into a table. The next query is insert table, insert query, and insert query is the part of DML which is called data manipulation language. It's not DDL. So because in insert query we are actually entering the data. In the table, we are not defining the data. We are entering the data, right? We are insulting the data. So that is the insert query is a part of DML. It's not a part of DDL. Insert query में क्या होगा? I can some, write something like insert into. This is the syntax you guys need to learn. Insert into third one is like table name, and table name is contact. Okay. Then we need to mention the column names. Like this, I can just simply copy student name, comma, phone number, right here. Then is brackets close bracket. Then values. This is again a keyword. Here you can type the values of these columns. So I will need to put it in single quote. So value every string value, every varchar value will always be in a single quote. So it will be like this. Now here you can put something like again like such an Okay, so if I just select this, run this, so it is told, correct? So this is how you can insert data in a table. So उसके लिए insert query जो है and what are the syntax of insert query is insert into insert into is fixed. Then we have to write the table name. Make sure that we are not writing insert into table contact. This is incorrect. We are writing insert into contact directly table name. While creating the table, we mentioned create table contact. We are we didn't write like this create contact. It will not work. So these are the syntax you need to learn. An easiest way, like in most of the TDL, we mention the word. It is it a table or it is a database or whatever whatever we are creating. 
बिकॉज वेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट समथिंग यू नीड टू मैंशन दैट वट यू आर गेटिंग यू आर गेटिंग अ टेबल वट यू आर गेटिंग अ डेटा बेस यू आर गेटिंग अ व्यू और वट एवर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर बट वेन यू आर यूजिंग समथिंग वेन यू आर लाइक फैचिंग द डेटा इंसल्टिंग द डेटा और समथिंग लाइक दैट सो यू मैंशन अवर कॉन्टेक्ट इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली नो दैट वट दैट कॉन्टेक्ट इज इट इज अ टेबल और इट इज वॉट बिकॉज यू हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड इट करेक्ट सो दिस इज द सिंपल फिनटेक्स ऑफ इंसल्टिंग डेटा इन टू द टेबल वट इज दैट इंसल्ट इन टू टेबल नेम देन यू कैन पुट द कॉलम नेम देन वैल्यूज देन वट एवर द वैल्यूज यू वॉन्ट टू इंसल्ट सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू इंसल्ट वन मोर वैल्यू आई कैन सिंपली कॉपी दिस स्टेटमेंट इवन आई कैन चेंज हेयर ऑल्सो सो आई जस्ट एड वन मोर सॉर्ट ऑफ विद सम अगेन रैंडम नंबर राइट so now if i want to see the data the whatever the data i have inserted i want to select that data i want to see that data so one thing obviously i can just click it script select and then i can run the query another thing is i can simply run the query of how i can select the data so next thing is like fetching the data or selecting the data from the table so for that what you need to do is simply this uh, you need to write a select query for that and the query is like select then here you need need to write write a column name like student comma phone number from then table name select is again something which is part of dml because we are not defining any data so it's not a part of D ddl and in dml we never write like select all from table contact it is simply select all from like select from contact and uh, simply i will run this and you will see something like that easy so now one more thing so while writing the select query you must have seen what we did select column names from table name that's all suppose if i want to select only one column i just want to see the names i can simply remove this it doesn't it not required it we mention each and every column name here so we can see just the student name suppose uh, this table contains 100 of columns we have a name we have phone number we have address we have city we have date of birth we have a lot of things so writing or if i ever to see all the column values writing everything here will be difficult so there is a shortcut for this you can simply type select asterisk from contact and we always read this as select all from contact so asterisk is all so when you some someone is saying select all from something select all from customer you need to write select asterisk from contact or whatever the table name is you never write it like this what you need to write it like this select asterisk from customer and read it like whenever you need to write read this whatever it is written here it is select all from contact and if you run this it will again give you the same thing all the column names whatever present in the table okay okay so as of now we learnt four queries create database create table insert into the table and select these are the four very 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 basic thing there are two or three more basic query which we will run but uh, abhi tak like uh, these four any question any doubt uh, everyone now uh, i just want to take 5 minutes from everyone and uh, t uh, want to hear the views from everyone ravi sumit utkarsh vasanti any any question anything you want to ask anything you feel it's not you you are not getting it okay so yeah the syntax uh, you obviously need to learn but it is very simple right we just created a table where we have two or three word syntax nothing else anyways others sumit utkarsh vasanti yeah okay so this is just simple thing right okay uh, so i don't uh, don't remember that everyone like from w uh, what you have already learned sql any time previously or not 
but so these are the queries and basic, very very basic queries which we always have learned in the btech or bc or whatever we did most of the guys already run these queries what here we need to actually learn is how to use these queries and uh, let me tell you one thing now when you will start working in a company so for a student what is important if obviously to clear their exam to get the mark and to clear the exam to get the mark they need to learn all these things like how to write the query syntax and all the things whatever comes in exam paper but in actual real life it's a basically something else is more important when you are working for a company this is not more important that you remember the syntax of the query or not you remember that we need to write table before contact or not you don't want you don't need to remember what is the syntax of insult query no you don't need to remember it let me tell you why because when you are working on something you have a google so if i want to even even if i forget the insult sql like format i can simply search something like insult insult sql query right you will open the first link and you will get to know how to write insert query it is as simple as it is so it's not like everything you are learning you need to put in your mind see you just need to understand it you don't need to memorize it you just need to understand it that what insert statement does insert statement is inserting the database into the database data into the database and obviously if you want to insert a data into a table you may need to mention the table name and if you want to insert all the column values you need to mention the column names and you need to mention the values whatever you inserting there are chances you forget that first i need to uh, like put values here or first i need to put the column name here you for, you may forget that you need to write values or value literally it doesn't matter even if you forget because you will always have google with you you can simply try to find out the syntax of the query so the most important thing while working in a software organization if not like you how much you memorize how much you can remember all the syntax and all but even the most important thing while working in a database in a software organization is to understand like which table you actually need to create right let me tell you an example suppose uh, we are working an erp system or you can say college management system i am not sure everyone is familiar with the term erp or not so suppose we are working for a college management system okay where we are going to manage a lot of data for like every student information should be there every professor information should be there every student fees related information should be there every branch college is running should be there every book every subject every project every labs any practical thing all the college infrastructure all the college rooms every kind of information related to that college needs to be there in the database okay so for that obviously we are not going to create one table and write all the data in one table it's not the way obviously it's not the way so we may need to create a many many tables and the biggest problem is like how many table you will create what columns that table should have that is more important than like how you will create the table what is the syntax of the writing like create a table of statement this is something you can learn in 2 minutes nothing that's all it's a just simple syntax most important part is the thinking process about how you convert a real world problem into your software field like how you plan that this okay this is the problem statement problem statement that i have a college my college wants a software where we, they can store every type of information whatever their management is doing whatever a cashier is doing whatever a teacher is doing everything everything can be handled within a system अगर आप ऐसा कुछ बनाना चाहते हो तो मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट यह है कि आप उस चीज को कन्वर्ट कर पाओ कन्वर्ट द बिजनेस लॉजिक इन टू योर सॉफ्टवेयर रिलेटेड टर्मिनोलॉजीज यू यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट विच टेबल्स इट नीड्स टू बी क्रिएटेड दैट इज मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट पार्ट एंड बिलीव मी टेल मी लेट मी टेल यू आई एम आई एम श्योर डेट आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग आई हैव मोर देन अलेवन ईयर ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस फील्ड 
even the persons who are working in the IT field from last past two years, three years, six years, seven years, seventy to eighty percent of people from them are not able to create a database schema. That this is what we call a database schema. Like how many table it should have, what all columns it should have. If I give this task to any of the software developer, uh, suppose ten of the software developer, I am sure seven of them will create it incorrectly. This may sound uh, a little bit uh, strange, but this is true, because creating a database, deciding how many tables will be there, how many columns will be there, is not an easy task. You will get to know why I am saying so, because uh, like as soon as our class will proceed, we will say we will see that for creating for storing the same type of data, there is not ten of ways or hundred of ways you can see we can create this table. Everyone has a different table of structure in his mind, and I I will never say that it's in, totally incorrect. That may work, but the thing is, what is more efficient? What is the best way to create a table? And like, how who will decide this? What is best? It's not like that. I am saying this. That's why it is best. Best is what what works efficiently. Where you need to do minimum maintenance. Where there is a very less chances of any bug appear, right? So, ये चीजें समझना are more important than just learning the syntax. So, as of now, I I we learn three syntax, four 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 queries: create database, create table, insert into table, and select all select from table. So, these four syntax we learn, but now uh, I am giving you one example why I am saying that uh, how. Thinking process is mo much more difficult. Let me tell you why. Okay, suppose uh, I am creating an application. This is a question for everyone, so everyone, please uh, concentrate what I am asking. Everyone will answer. Uh, so okay, suppose I want to create a database where I am planning to store all of my students' information, and what I want to store three things. Like I want to get knowledge of three things. In my suppose I am running this uh, internship program or a coaching center, whatever you say, uh, it uh, I am just running an internship program where I want to store a few information like how many students are there. I want to uh, store uh, get the information of all the student, their uh, highest level of education, they are dated B Tech, M C or whatever, and the third information I want to store. I want to know their age. Okay. Three information I just know: know the name, age, and the highest degree of education. So now tell me, like in a table named, I can create a table name of student. How many columns I need, and what should be the columns? So everyone, I'm starting from uh, uh, C Utkarsh. So question is, I want to store the information of all my students, and what all information I need is their name, the height of degree of education, like B Tech, M C, or whatever, and the age of students. So tell me, like in the student table, how many columns I should create, and what should be those columns? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, and the name will be a string. Right, worker. Oh yeah, that's it. Right, character varying character. It's a called. You can call it a string or worker or varying character. That's right. Second is the age. What is that? It will. It will be. Okay. Okay. And the next column will be the high qualification. You can again. It will be a string. Okay, okay. Thanks, Utkarsh. And next, uh, go to Sumit. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, Ravi. Same. Vasanti. Yeah, Vasant. Uh, Okay, 
so most of you guys uh, even every one of you gave the same answer right and this is the most of the guys is like common thinking perspective and it is correct because i asked you question in such a way this is my requirement and you gave all gave same answer that is not wrong that is not wrong but when you think uh, what was the trick in this uh, question the trick was like i asked three information name qualification which are very easy the trick was in age so suppose if you are storing age of a person suppose i am storing age of sachin and i am saying he is 41 year 20 days right now so it could be so how i can store it's like maybe i suppose if i want to store only years i can store like 40 as 40 years right now suppose whenever his birthday will come he will be 41 right so who is going to change the database at that time every one birthday came at different dates wo age change kaise hogi us database mein database mein maine ek column mein yahan pe column mein suppose this value is like 40 then how this 40 will become 41 on 24th april next year you understand my question right you understand everyone understand the problem here if we store age if we store age of anyone in our database actually this is the problem we should never ever store age of anyone what we need to store the date of birth of that person because we can always calculate the date of birth based on the today's date that date of birth remain fixed if you see if you store the age of a person it will become a problem for your application because age will change if suppose facebook start storing the age in their system then they they will never know like when to increase the age but what facebook did facebook stored your birthday that's why they know that every 18th october or every 24th april or whatever date it is you have like uh, you like you have a birthday and you will become like now you are turning oh that is strange hmm, i'm not sure what's happening usually my internet connection is very good okay anyways uh, let me know is it could little better now no uh am i audible okay so what i am saying that uh, storing age of okay uh now mm. am i audible now or again if if still working okay am i audible now or is it still breaking no sir it's not breaking now so anyone hello uh everyone is on in mute yes sir you are audible आवाज आ रही है किसी को यस सर आ रही है आपकी आवाज little better or if still the same uh 
okay, must be some problem with my earphone. Maybe let me see if I can do. Okay, and let me know if you will not be able to understand any one of you. Okay. Okay, so what I was saying about the age thing and uh, the problem was like if you store age of anyone in your system that age will gonna be changed on various days on anyone's birthday suppose someone's birthday is on 24th April then to, on 24th April the age should be should be changed automatically correct right everyone okay but if you plan to store date of birth of a person you never need to worry about changing that data because date of birth will remain same and wherever in your application in your website you want to display age of that person you can simply calculate the age using the date of birth because you always know the today of date you always know the date of birth you can calculate the age correct so this is the more important part of understanding the database understanding the database management system understanding the sql the thing so thing is like just understanding the query is not sufficient understanding how to think like what should be them so these are the things that nobody usually teach teaches us this is the thing we come to know when we actually start working on a project and we face this situation I'm sure uh, right now everyone gave this answer that we can store the age but whenever you if suppose you will start working on an application which will be like working for more than a year then you will come to this problem you will uh, automatically you will know that oh this is causing a problem so so when you start working on an organization you start doing things then someone will start telling you that you are doing this wrong and you are doing this right but and as, as like whatever our education system is in our college and in our all the things no one teaches these kind of thing this is the, the main motto of here like we need to try understanding things so what i am gonna do in the next session in most of the things like what we are gonna do we are gonna take some example for example uh, this example which i took that i am running a internship program what all information i need to save similarly i have taken taken the example of college management system so we may think of like what table needs to and how we need to store the database so before before completing our sql training session we will make sure that you guys will be able what that weird very weird okay so what i just saying that before completing our full training session we will make sure that you every one of you will be able to create the database schemas for some various system by your own logics you will be able to create a few database we will give you some exercises so first of all uh, obviously we will as simple as uh, we will learn some queries as we learned three or four queries today Similarly, we will learn few more queries in the next session. Am I audible now? Okay. Similarly, we will learn few more queries in the next session. The very first thing I want from every one of you that make sure that you install the database in your system today. And please don't wait till next session. Suppose that my next session will be on next Saturday. Please don't wait till next Saturday or Friday because I'm sure that everyone will of you will uh, forget about it. That what I have to. So if you will practice it today only or maybe my max tomorrow, it will be really good for you. And literally, uh, you guys can understand that whatever I taught today, that will take only 10 to 15 minutes to revise, right? You just need to install the database, you need to create a database, you need to create a table, you need to insert the data, you need to select the data, that's all. So that was very easy, whatever I told you. I am if, if especially starting my lectures in a very slow pace because everyone of will, you will get to do all the things in your system. That is more important. So make sure you ja please karna, karna. 
इन योर सिस्टम इंस्टॉल करना इतना चला के देखना ताकि नेक्स्ट सिस्टम से हम कुछ मोर प्रोडक्टिव कर पाएँ बिकॉज इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन वन वी विल ट्राई वन वी विल लर्न लिटिल मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स क्वेरीज इट विल बी लिटरली ईजियर फॉर यू गाइज मे बी यू कैन सिंपली राइट द क्वेरीज अलॉन्ग विद मी इन योर सिस्टम इट विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल राइट एनी वेज माई स्पीड इज क्वाइट क्वाइट स्लो आई एम जस्ट रिपीटिंग सेम सेंटेंस मैनी मैनी टाइम सो जस्ट टू मेक श्योर डेट एवरी वन विल अंडरस्टैंड इट सो इफ यू विल हैव द डेटा बेज रेडी विद यू इन योर नेक्स्ट सेशन इट विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल फॉर एवरी वन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द नेक्स्ट सेशन आई विल आस्क एवरी वन दैट इट हैज़ बीन इंस्टॉल्ड और नॉट इवन आई मे आस्क यू टू शेयर योर स्क्रीन एंड शो मी लाइक वट एवर यू हैव डन योर सो प्लीज़ मेक श्योर डेट इंस्टॉल द डेटा बेज क्रिएट टेबल इंसल्ट सम डेटा एंड शो मी द डेटा इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन ओके एनी टेबल ऑफ योर चॉइस ओके सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे सेशन आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू कंटिन्यू अ लॉट मोर इन दिस सेशन बिकॉज आई डोंट नो वाई माई वॉइस इज ब्रेक एन अगेन एंड अगेन एंड इट विल बिकम लिटिल मसी इन दिस वे सो या एंड नाउ कम्स टू द क्यू एंड ए पार्ट एनी वन हैज एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज लेट मी नो अदरवाइज वी कैन कंटिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन एनी क्वेश्चन ओके या थैंक यू एवरी वन ऑफ यू या बसंती नो 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 सो द थिंग इज अवट आई सेट इट्स बेटर टू यूज स्ट्रिंग फॉर द कॉलम्स वे आर यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू एनी कैलकुलेशन एग्जाम्पल फोन नंबर यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू एनी कैलकुलेशन बट सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू स्टोर से नंबर ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स इन अ ब्रांच इन अ बी टेक ब्रांच और इन अ एम टेक ब्रांच और एम सी ए ब्रांच हाउ मैनी सब्जेक्ट्स आर देयर दैट कैन बी एंटीजर राइट anything like that that can be an integer for example an id id of a person can be an integer or uh, maybe something like uh, see salary salary of a person can be a double or float or like a decimal decimal actually in postgres we called it as the decimal so that can be a decimal yeah vasanthi uh, go ahead please yeah asking yeah asking something Okay now now you got it a uh, date of birth date of for date of birth there is a special data type in portrait sql and most of this code which is called date time yeah yeah that, that uh, every this everything i will cover in one of the like in uh, all of the session so one by one we will uh, reach uh, so today i didn't tell about any database apart from varchar so in the next session we will see some more data types it will cover i will cover integer decimal date time and uh, a little a few more okay yeah oh, okay thanks vasanthi anyone else any question ravi sumit utkarsh Okay thank you thank you all so we will meet in the next session thank you thank you thank you yeah